they, they say that uh, presidential politics is a matter of timing for any individual mm -hmm. politician. And there's a moment that arrives and that's usually when you have to seize it or else it disappears. And I, I think of, uh, I always think of uh, uh, former New Jersey governor, Chris Christie. There were a lot of Republicans at the time pushing him to run in 2012. He turned it down uh, many that during, uh, during that phase, decided to run in 2016. By the time he arrives on that debate stage, he's got a scandal behind him in the form of Bridgegate. And Donald Trump sounds more authentic than he does on that stage, more like mm -hmm. he's the alpha that, that Chris Christie was once seen as. Um, so everyone's got a moment. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you've got a moment? Is this it? Are you, is 2024 the kind of moment that you need to seize? I don't feel that way. I feel as though I want to contribute. I want to live a life of significance. Um, there's a lot of other people, I'm sure, that, that want to be president. I'm not convinced that it has to be me. Uh, but I will get up every day and do what I can do to, to serve my state and continue to serve our country. Would, would, a, would Donald Trump announcing a run for president be a field clearing uh, thing like in other words, if he announces, and there's some reports that he may announce very soon, mm -hmm. um, would that would that, for instance, preclude you from ever making an announcement for a 2024 run? Well, I've said that if President Trump runs, that I would support him. Uh, I think he's got a significant uh, loyal following in the Republican Party that it would be very difficult for anyone to beat him in a primary. Um, but you know, I don't know if it necessarily is a field clearing, but there's a lot of people who would choose not to run if he does decide to. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I'll just tell you, someone on the left, uh, just just a little little free game for you. <laughs> uh -huh. I, on the left, with some of the issues that the country is having right now, the best thing that could happen for Democrats is for President, Tr former President Trump, to run mm -hmm. because he fires up the left. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Every I, I'll tell you right now, if DeSant DeSantis would be much harder to beat. You know, I, and I think you would be even harder to beat than Trump because the left gets fired up for Trump. We could start running ads. People will get excited. And, you know, you can actually say, hey, we need to stop Trump. There's already the infrastructure for people, Republicans against Trump, Trumpism. And you can show all kinds of ads of January 6th. I can tell you, I think, you know, your, your party and your cause would probably be better off with you, Governor Nome, or or someone you know like uh -oh. you. The Jason I, Nichols endorsement. There it I, is. Had, I, I didn't give an endorsement. <laughs> no, I, he I did not. Said, did he? I, yeah. I'm only, I'm only saying I'm I'm giving you guys some some free political game, but you guys are gonna. I'm sure you're gonna ignore it. Your party is gonna ignore it.